What's up you guys, Jeffrey Burns right here. I'm super excited to bring you to this brand new video. In today's video, I'm bringing you a special edition of where I'm going to be interviewing the CEO of the Funded Trader Program. So in this video, he's going to be unveiling what he has in store for us in the future. And so many questions that I've been having you guys ask me. Okay, so here is this interview. And we all know he has done an interview with Blake. And right here is an updated version of what that is. All right, so nice to have you on the call. Please can you just do a brief introduction about yourself and what we should be expecting in the near future. Yeah, thanks for having me, Jeffrey. I'm excited to be here on the podcast or on the interview. And I appreciate everything that you're doing with your page. You know, recently you took the challenge and you've been documenting a little bit. So that's why I decided to reach out, see if you wanted to hop on and talk a little bit more, a little bit of background about myself. So I've been trading about four years now. I've always been very interested in the capital markets because like most people in the beginning, when I first got started, I realized the power of letting your money make money, right? That was the whole allure of all of this. And I really saw the opportunity for people that didn't have that much money to make money in the markets. That being said, it's definitely not easy. And I've learned that, you know, thus far with everything that I've been doing. And I started about three years ago, a community called Forex League. It was just for educational purposes. Uh, the whole point of it was me and my partner literally just wanted to meet more traders all around the world, kind of open up the door to learn more and just expose ourselves to different strategies that other people were doing. It grew uh, pretty pretty well, like it grew exponentially over the years. And at this point now, we've got about almost half a million on social media across like all of our channels. So it grew to, to a very like substantial amount in a short period of time, about two years since we started it. And then as most of you know, or will know now, I started the Funded Trader about a year ago um, in collaboration with Blake and two other partners. And that kind of brings us uh, to where we are today. So I'm excited to, to be here to hop on the interview and to go through uh, some questions with you. Yeah, fantastic. So that's pretty much it, very nice. So you started four years ago and up until this time, like what was the journey like for you as a newbie trader? Yeah, so like most people, um, when I started, it was, I believe I was in college still, right? I was in, had student loans, I was in debt, right? I was looking for ways to make money online because I realized that I didn't want to work, you know, in a cubicle my whole life. And I was in that, in that path from a young age to go to college, get a job. But that's not the truth, right? Entrepreneur, like entrepreneurism is live and well. And uh, chasing, starting a business, or not chasing, but starting a business and being entrepreneurial really is the number one way to uh, crave freedom in your life financially, right? Um, so for me, like when I first, from the point at which I first started to where I'm at right now, there's definitely been a lot that has changed and that's what's going to need to happen in order to withstand all of this growth and all of these new opportunities that are going on. So just a little bit about my journey. I did go to college, went to Rutgers University here in the United States over in New Jersey, majored in IT and economics. And then I had gotten some sort of entry-level job at a pharmaceutical company. That's when I started Forex League while I was working simultaneously with the nine to five. And then I was trading as well. I got funded with FTMO in about 2019. Um, so that's when I first kind of learned about the whole prop firm thing. It took me about a year and a half, almost two years to actually find the strategy that works for me, go through all the emotions of trading, uh, become profitable. If you guys want to check out, I do have a video with Trading Nut um, posted on his channel. And I kind of go through the strategy that we, one of the strategies that we teach in Forex League. Um, for the New York session. So if you want to go ahead and check that out, maybe we could even link that um, down below so you guys can get some more info and hear a little bit more about my story with that. Um, but basically got funded with FTMO, the whole prop firm thing, you know, really grew quickly. And then because of the fact that we had Forex League at about, about a year and a half ago, we, um, we actually started a white label, right, with another partner and, um, we started a prop firm right as a white label. And then once we realized that the person we were white labeling from wasn't going to fund people, was going to just do all this sketchy stuff. I'm not going to name like who they are, but you know, they, they were just not passing people that deserve to be passed. That's what I learned a little bit more about the model. Again, I've always had a background in 
IT, operations, economics. So I kind of just utilized all those skills and I obviously partnered with the right people to put together like the financial models and sales, marketing, risk, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then we launched the funded trader once I actually like understood the prop firm model entirely. And that's when I, that's actually when at that point I had already quit my job for about six months. So that was about two years ago, a year and a half ago that I left the nine to five. I'm 26 years old for people that know. So graduated 23, worked till I was about 24, 24 and a half. And then I just quit my job. And then now I'm just doing, you know, all this full time. And obviously um, everything's grown, you know, dramatically. And we could get a bit more into the details, but I'll leave it at that for now. That's amazing. Like uh, for those who don't know who Angelo is, Angelo is, Angelo was a trader for a proprietary firm like FTMO. So now he now owns a proprietary firm that is currently one of the top leading ones, even compared in comparison with FTMO and other ones. So how does it feel like you were probably a previously trader for FTMO, right? But right now you actually own a firm that is almost uh, at that level with FTMO. How does that feel? Does that make you really feel excited or still make you to want to like, want to get more things done and even outperform the whole. Uh, yeah, to me, to me, I look at FTMO and obviously they're the leaders in the space. Um, you know, they're, they're really big at scale and they've been in business for about 10 years. So we've only been in business almost a year now, not even a year now. So to me, to compare us uh, directly to them, I think that we, we offer great services. And I think, and I'll talk about some updates that we're going to be bringing um, that are going to get us a lot closer to the standard that they give to all their clients. Yeah. Um, but I think right now, right, we're, we're focused on ourselves and we're not trying to compare ourselves that much to FTMO, right? They're great. They offer great services. I believe we offer great services. To your point, I'm definitely very excited at the opportunity um, that we have. But to be transparent, going into this, uh, we understood the we understood the model very well we understood what we were getting into the partnerships we were going to need not all of them we're learning a lot as we go in regards to the technology and the vendors and different people to work with um and investors as well but we understood the position that we could potentially be in right with the volume right. and so it's not like right now uh with with us being like a rising you know company in the in the space that we're that surprised, right? We're trying to just be as level-headed as possible so that we can continue to improve the products and obviously, you know, not stumble and fall on our faces here. All right, nice. The Funnel Trader program is actually one of the uh, program that has the largest amount to be funded at a time, which is $400,000 at a stretch. So you could, I understand that you could have maximum of 600,000, that is you can have 400,000 and do a 200,000 account. So you can have 600,000 at a time. Then from there you can, Keep scaling, okay? Now, having a 400,000, having been a firm, one of the uh, only firm that have the largest amount right now to be funded as we speak. Now, don't you think that this is much of a risk? Are there downsides to this one having a huge fund rate And what success, are you seeing that there are a lot of successes with this? Are people taking up this account because it costs pretty much? This is 1898, but actually it's better for me because this is the one I'm currently registered on. Like, I think you think this is a better model for people. And, and I also learned there are two questions in one. And I also learned that this firm, the Funded Trader program, actually have one of the highest paid in the profit industry as we speak. So you want to comment on that and also let me know what this $400,000 $400, account is all about and how you guys are finding it. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. So the 400K is obviously pretty massive. Um, the reason that we introduced the 400K mainly is because we don't offer trade copiers. So everyone wants to copy um, accounts to each other, right? They want to buy multiple accounts, trade them with each other using right. a trade copier. We don't right now allow the EAs, as most people know. So we felt as though if people wanted to trade multiple accounts, this gives them a lot of flexibility. If they want to trade 250Ks, you get 100K. You want to trade two 100Ks, get a 200K. And if you want to trade two 200Ks, get a 400K, right? So people are doing this stuff regardless, even though we're offering a 400K. 100K. If, trade copiers were, if trade copiers were enabled, people would be purchasing multiple challenges anyway and just copying them to each other, right? 
So right. from a risk standpoint, I don't assume that there there would be uh, there is additional risk from offering the 400k. But that being said, the 400k obviously is a large program, right? It's it's a large account wow. size for someone to get you know right from the beginning. And I think when it comes down to these programs, it really all just hinges on like the leverage that's actually offered. You can see here the challenge leverage is one to two hundred, which gives right. the trader a bit more on the FX pairs to trade with. But once you get into funded and you, you hop into the FAQ, you can see the leverage is a bit lower. It's on standard with FTMO, um, but the leverage is a bit lower actually on the funded account. So that's what the secret is, right? It's all just about leverage and any firm that you're working with, if they're not, if they're not offering some sort of lower leverage or medium sized leverage, I mean, even FTMO, they're one to 100 on the, mm -hmm. on the FX pairs, right? Yeah. And they're fairly low on indices, commodities, crypto yeah, yeah. and whatnot, right? So for, for the most part, if someone's offering very outrageous levels of leverage or they don't do some sort of lot size thing or whatever, I would actually be concerned um, for that business because it means that they're taking on a huge amount of risk. Um, ultimately, that can be put them in a bad position. So the 400K, again, you know, we don't offer the trade copiers. So very similar to someone just trading two hundred two 200K accounts. But I will say the max that you can trade is 600 is 600K. So if you do get a 400K challenge and a 200K challenge, you pass both of them, you can get up to 600K, which is one of the highest, if not the highest. Uh, you can Let get me ask you just one question from that. What yeah. you just like, can I have a 400K? And I get it 200K, all right? And copy my trades from 400K to 200K. Is that possible? So what you would need to do, it, once you got them funded, would you'd have to merge them into one account. So then you would just you have a 600K. Merge. You can only merge yeah. them. Not really. Okay. Okay, perfect. So can yeah. you comment on the having uh, the largest payout right now in the industry? Yeah, some of the... So the largest payouts, it's actually pretty interesting. They're coming mainly from the indices. Uh, a lot of people are making a lot of money with the indices. And uh, if you if you go to, we have the leaderboard. If you want to maybe just pull that up, we do have the leaderboard at the top of our website. At any given time, you can actually check the top funded traders, how they're doing, you know, who's making the most profit. As you can see, Johannes is up 17%. Um, right now, we felt as though it was an accurate representation to do the return percentage meaning the percentage that they're up on their account since everyone does have different account balances. Um, we are gonna look to build out sections where it's based on 50K, 100K, 200K, 400K. So the leaderboard is based on the actual account sizes. As you can see here, we've got her, her um, dashboard. So you've got some, some statistics, some analytics on her actual challenge. And then down below, you've got some closed trades. So you can actually see what this trader is doing, what, what pairs, they are trading and whatnot. So this is this is where you can kind of see where the payouts are coming from, who's in line for the biggest payout. Obviously, um, this Hong T has very large profit right now and they haven't been trading. So they're gonna most certainly get paid out on that 80K fairly soon. So I think that one of the improvements that we are gonna be making, and we'll talk about this a bit more in depth, is the broker, right? Right now we're working with a strategic partnership with Purple Trading and they're just offering us basically the demo uh, servers so that we can conduct our business on and then we have to do some different internal operations. And because of the fact that we don't have our own broker, it uh, definitely creates a different type of backend for our business than someone, than a firm that has a broker. So the broker is going to be coming soon. And I think that People might not realize um, how much of an improvement that is, but yeah. having your own broker gives you a lot more control in what you can do. And it's going to be, it's going to be a big step for us as a company to get that out there. That's amazing. Fantastic. So I just want to do a quick rundown on how the, uh, the funded trader program actually work. So mm -hmm. if you want an account ranging from 50K up onto 400,000, that's when standard account. And the parameters are the challenge leverage is one to 200 on the challenge phase. And the minimum trading days is five, which is very decent. Phase one target, you are given 35 days to meet this target, which is 10%. And phase two is uh, 
you have to make 5%, right? The max loss is 12%, which is one of the best and very competitive. And uh, max daily loss is 6% in a day, all right? Profit split, you get to keep 80%, but where you are on the scaling, uh, the scaling plan, you get to keep 80% while the funded trader program keep 10% of whatsoever profit you make on your funded account. And your fee are refundable, all right? So for the on foreign you have to pay 1898. And if you use the link, the, the link in the description box with our coupon code, you're going to be getting 10% extra off of this on all challenges. So that's on the standard account. So we've got the one for one step challenge. The difference between uh, the standard challenge for the one step challenge is you don't get to take the verification. So on this one, do you have it available on your $100,000 account? So all parameters stays the same thing. And the payout right here becomes 40% of whatever profit you make while you get 100% refund of the initial money that you pay to them. Now, here's an, another question I, I currently have for you. Now, it's a very fantastic idea. It shows that the people who are currently here on this space, the funded trader program, you guys were actually traders, trading for proprietary firm. You knew, you guys knew, you guys were aware of the problem that's available in this space and you get really have to sit down and come up with your style. So why am I saying this is because of the competition that you guys come up with. We all understand that a lot of people who are on the funded trader on the proprietary firm space, there are people not really with a lot of money, all right? Some are here for different reasons, but like a huge statistics of people, a number of people are those who are not with a lot of money. So with the competition idea is a very fantastic thing. So if you don't have a lot of money, you should be able to prove that you can trade and be able to pass so you can be given some discounts or even be given a free account. So do you want to comment on the competitions, how you think one can best uh, achieve, uh, get an account for free on this space? On the competition? Yeah, space? sure. I'll say, I'll say this. Why don't you go ahead and go into the standings section for the February competition. Let's just get that loaded up. Um, so the, the thinking process behind the competition has always been, like you said, to provide additional opportunities to people who don't make a lot of money, right? Or don't have a lot of money. Yeah. Um, so another piece of it is we want to give people an opportunity to try out our technology. Um, they aren't getting their own dashboards, but every single person, you can search what your nickname is in here, and you can see you have a dashboard here on the right-hand side. And this is tracking your equity, your drawdown live. It's following all the rules of the challenge. So this is get, giving you a one month trial, full month trial on the uh, funded trader technology, the program, but there is an incentive behind it, right? You can win um, the first 20 spots, can win either free, free challenges or coupon codes, um, which is obviously pretty cool. But we wanna actually expand on this. We wanna offer even more prizes um, because I think that the overall reception of this has been really, really great, right? There's a lot of people that are participating. As you can see here, a lot of people have uh, disqualified. If you go to remaining contestants, we have 8,400 total people. There's about 4,000 people left. And this is why I always tell people that participate in these types of things. It's just focus on your own account, right? Focus on what you're doing. Exactly. Yeah, focus on what you're doing because you never know at the end, the people in front of you could get disqualified for whatever reason, and then you're left and could be the winner, right? And you just did it by focusing on yourself. So my point of advice, a lot of people are participating in this. Don't be sitting here looking at the leaderboard every day, you know, maybe look, you know where you stand at the end of the day, like, you know, maybe look end of the week, whatever, but focus on trading your account, focus on doing what you're meant to do. Don't be out here trying to punt um, accounts and whatnot. And one of the things that we want to improve about this is you see the return percentage of the leaders is like insane, right? It's 200% in a couple of weeks. Um, so we might want to adjust the rules for the competition. So that way people, it simulates a more realistic environment because at the end of the day, people are just getting this into this for free and they have no attachment to the outcome. So they're just punting in a lot of them, maybe taking trades they wouldn't have taken as well. So we want to get this a bit more, a bit closer um, to simulating a live or a more, you know, paid competition, because when you're paying money, you're obviously going to, you know, trade a little bit differently whenever money's involved, as opposed to when it's free. So yeah, we can go through, you pulled up the rules here. Like I said, top 20 are going to get a prize. 
we have one through three are going to get challenges, at least for this one. Four through 10 are fourth place going to get 50% off. Fifth place is going to get 25% off. And then fourth uh, through... Hey, let, let me just do this. Yeah. Let me run through the rules. For the first, okay. for the first place, guess 200,000 standard challenge. And second, guess 100K. And the third, guess 50K. So from fourth place up until the 20th, they get a coupon code ranging from the various percentage, all right? So, so 50% up until 10%, which is for the 20th place. Now here are the rules. You have to follow the rules, okay? 6% for max daily drawdown, 12% for total drawdown, five minimum trading days, and not taking advantage of unrealistic fields in the demo environment, which is decent, almost the same, exact same rule for the standard account uh, challenge. All right, this is exact, this is fantastic. So right now, by the time of making this interview, we currently have this user, the king or queen, which is, this person is up of about 204% on this account wow this is huge all right look at his yeah. trades pull up scroll down and let's let's take a look at it, what trades he's got on here okay so okay this is his trades it's currently up on euro card euro card euro card and euro usd so it's more of euro euro guy and he's using 30 standard lot size i mean this is ridiculous but well maybe he's got a style for this in as much as his monthly loss is not being breached and his total loss is not being breached i mean Kudos, fantastic uh, trading. All right, so nice. <laughs> okay, so how do you get into this competition? Just talk a little bit about this so people who are watching right now who are interested may want to get on board. Yeah, so around the 21st or the 24th of every single month, uh, this month it'll be the 21st since the month ends a bit earlier. Uh, we're going to add the March competition. It'll appear in this contest list. As you can see, there's this register button. It's currently grayed out because these are live, but yeah. you'll just click register for the March competition. And then you'll be sent an email with your, with your account. Once it turns uh, February 28th at midnight, so it becomes March 1st, the accounts will become uh, tradable. So they'll be read only, they'll flip to being able to be traded. And then everyone can start trading uh, the first of the month, and then we'll go through the end of the month. All right. So for the previous one, just so you guys can know and look at, see what you guys should be looking out for. For the previous month, I just put the one for January. This is currently February. So for the previous month, we have the queen to be this user, and the person made one hundred fifteen uh, uh, percentage in total, and mm -hmm. these were his trades. All right. So he was trading more of one hundred which is decent so i'm just just so you guys know what's 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 been going on all right so they had about three thousand fifty-two uh, contestants and we only had at the end of the time we only have 1368 that were left on this one all right just so yeah you see this one. yeah so 50 percent of them fell off and yeah. as you can see this past this month right now of february there was a lot more people the 8,400 yeah, um, 8, people. I actually did talk about this on my channel. Yeah, I actually did talk about this on my channel and I encourage people to go uh, take this uh, stuff, this uh, the competition. That may just prepare them ahead of what is in front of them. So yeah, so the extra extra 5,000 people came from you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's that's a great thing. Now talking about the pricing, you guys have you guys have got one of the best pricing. So like, I want to go to 100,000 account. So you have five foot nine USD for a, a hundred thousand account, and for fifty thousand you've got three hundred fifteen US dollars. I mean that's the sense. So let's move away from the pricing. I, I want to also rush straight to what the update, what we should be expecting, what uh, should we be seeing with the funded trader program that we are not going to see anywhere. What's the exclusivity which we get? Yeah, so one thing that right now we're working on several things. Um, I think it all really comes back to the technology. The technology is the core of the business and it's improving the user experience when they come on the website to have everything run very smoothly um, so that they get a great experience in what they're doing. One of the things or several of the things that we're looking to improve right now is really just the entire back end of the website so just the website in general right now we have our dashboards which everything is automated everything is tracked which is obviously really good and really positive to have um, but one of the things that 
people get confused on is we have a login for our main website and then we have a login for our dashboard. So right. we're looking to com- we're looking to combine uh, both of those things. So that way there's only one login. And what we're trying to, what we're really creating is the funded trader terminal. So in the funded trader terminal, like right now, you had gone on the competition site, you had gone on the leaderboard, and then the dashboard is completely separate. So we want to combine all of those things into one terminal um, where it's like a one-stop shop. You go in there, you can enter competitions, you can look at all the funded traders, see how they're doing on the leaderboard, look at your accounts, purchase accounts, submit your documents, everything like that, right? So other thing is people are um, mentioning about the time it takes to get a funded account, right? right? They're mentioning that the time is a little bit long. So we're looking to implement right now a new KYC. It's like, for those that don't know, that's just your documents. Um, after you get funded, we get all of your documents and they get approved. We're about to implement this new KYC that's going to be automated. So you're going to submit everything on the website. It's all going to be automated, which is, I think, going to improve the user experience as well. Another thing that we're working on is, is uh, automated payments or payouts. So any payout that's under 5,000, we're looking to integrate this one technology provider. Um, they're, at, they're called Plaid. Some people might have heard of it, but basically any payout under 5,000 will be automatically dispersed. Um, we'll have that automated. And then anything over 5,000 will get reviewed by like the internal team before it actually gets released to confirm a few things, uh, to make sure that's being sent to the right person, the trading activity is good, so on and so on. So I think for us, like something that's gonna be coming, that's gonna shake up things a little bit is once the the broker actually does go live, we haven't, um, we do offer the one step, but we haven't added any programs uh, over the last year. And I think that that's definitely an opportunity considering what some other firms, some other firms do. There's tons out there offering different things right now. And I think Blake is very creative and knows the programs that people would potentially like. So look out for a new program that's going to be coming later in 2022. Um, I think it's something that people are going to get really excited about. And it's just going to be another opportunity for people to trade, obviously, amount of capital that they otherwise wouldn't be able to trade. That's amazing. So talking about, I, I was just about to enumerate some problems that I've been, uh, I've been encountering because I currently have an account, a 400k account I'm currently trading. So I already passed the first phase, which is the challenge. And this is the, uh, what's it called? This is the phase two. Um, mm-hmm. The only major problem I was actually thinking, the thing I was wishing you guys have on this dashboard was if you guys could have where trades that I placed is being shown. There's a way it happens on FTM account metrics that I could as well share this with my friends. And also I could also have trades that are placed like buy sales. The major pairs that I'm trading most should be displayed somewhere around here. Like that would really be well appreciated. You guys can consider okay. that. I think that's so you're right. saying, uh, cause you can go into the account history and see all of your trading activity. And but exactly. you're- Having but you're saying that you want to see like a visual representation, like a graph. Exactly. Yeah. And all in a long sheet and visual representation and all that. Of course, I just trade GBP that, that This makes it very, very easy for me to be able to support. But there are some other traders that have other varieties of pairs that they look up for and all of that. So it will make a lot of sense. We see all of that same thing on this dashboard. As I say, when we are seeing this curve, this graphical representation, like right here, and we also see somewhere around here. That would really make a lot of sense. All right. Yeah. And just so everyone knows as well, uh, we're big with our discord community. We're continuing to try to grow that. So inside of there, you can always post a suggestion in the suggestions channel. I'm looking at that every single day and I'm looking to take everyone's ideas and implement them. I think that's a great idea. One um, that we will scope out. And I will say like one thing that we do quite frequently is we do a lot of giveaways. We do a lot of discounts. And the reason that we do all of this is one, we're obviously trying to grow, you know, our social channels, we're trying to grow our brands. Um, But at the end of the day, I was a trader with FTMO, you know, much like most people, I was trying all these other prop firms. And one of the things that just like frustrated me was that they never ran sales, they never did giveaways, right? So for me, that was something I always wish that they had done that would have promoted me to, to honestly just been, you know, more frequently um, active, you know, in their community and whatnot. So we're big on offering the discounts, offering the giveaways. We're also huge on building 
the community. So if you guys have any questions, go in the Discord. All the payouts that we've posted are in there. We've done almost like 2 million in payouts so far, um, and they're only going to continue to grow. So definitely check out the Discord if you guys want to get more info on us. That's amazing. Angelo, thank you for coming on today's interview. Really appreciate you guys. So guys, if you've got more questions, do you like me to ask Angelo on the back end? Just drop that in the comment section. I definitely will link that back to him and then get back to you guys. And if you do like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on post notification. And remember, the link to sign up for the funded uh, trader program is right in the description box. And I'm also going to be including it in the comment section. I'm pinned to the top. If you use that link and use the coupon code FIREPEEP, you're going to be having 10% off of your next purchase. All right, you want to give us your last remark on this on this interview? <laughs> yeah, I just want to thank everyone again for all the support. Uh, we're going to continue to work very hard on the back end. We just actually onboarded a new COO that I'm going to be introducing to everyone very soon. So a new executive to our team. So find us we're on every social platform, Clubhouse, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. We're getting on there, you know, Discord everywhere. So find us there. And, uh, you know, wish you guys all the best in your challenges and hope to see you soon on the Funded Trader program. Thank you. And see you next time. Keep the fire being guys and bye for now. Bye. Later.